The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up, guys? Clickwood here, back again with another video. Guys, today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at some absolute savagery from Twitter coming from Terrell Owens, wide receiver, potential Hall of Famer here, should be already a Hall of Famer, let's be completely honest. I made a video about that a couple of weeks ago. Make sure you go check that one out. But in today's video, we're going to take a look at T.O. absolutely shitting on EA and Madden NFL. So, started off here... On February 21st, so this was a few days back, he just randomly says, need some football in my life, I already miss it. Like, yeah, we miss you too, T.O., definitely miss you, one of the best wide receivers of all time, like we already said. Now, this triggered a response from EA Madden NFL, who are kind of known to be a little bit trolly at times on Twitter. They have fun and they'll mess around with players and things like that, but usually it's players that they have a good relationship with, right? In this case, not so much. They send a tweet to him that says, and I quote, We'll send you a copy of hashtag Madden, NFL, or Madden 17. Just don't drop it. Wow. Just don't drop it. Really, EA. Really. You're just randomly going at a potential Hall of Famer's neck, saying like he dropped a lot of passes. First of all, Terrell Owens didn't drop a lot of passes, so I don't really know where that's coming from. I don't know if they're like trying to make a reference to Des Bryant dropping passes or like, I don't know who the fuck is even running this Twitter account right now, to be honest with you, but whoever is doing it, bad decision. Bad, bad decision, because Terrell Owens is about to shit on you, okay? So we get back, Terrell Owens responds, Stop asking me to be in the game. Stop underpaying, guys. I never disrespected Madden, just said I don't play it. Hashtag blessed. So, that's pretty savage, right? But it's about to get worse, okay? It's about to get worse. T.O.'s about to expose them. It's all good, homie, he says in response to somebody who responded to EA. He says, funny, they've been trying to pay me $1,500 to release my likeness for a game when they make billions off of players. Boom! $1,500 is apparently the offer that EA gave to him to be in Madden NFL. Now, we don't know if this is from Madden 17. It could have been from Madden 15, Madden 25. We don't know exactly when that offer came in, but... $1,500, I don't care what year it was, that is a ridiculous offer for someone like Terrell Owens. Like, $1,500 is almost a ridiculous offer to ask me to be in Madden, let alone a freaking, like what, the number two, number three statistical wide receiver of all time? You're telling me you only have $1,500 a yay that you can send it T.O.'s way. Are you shitting me right now? You don't think Terrell Owens is going to make you back $1,500 in like, literally, I'm not even exaggerating, within a minute one minute of if they drop a bundle with Terrell Owens in it as far as like him being an ultimate legend one minute they will make fifteen hundred dollars I am like I have no words he's absolutely right they make billions of dollars off of these games and they can't slide him a little bit more than fifteen hundred dollars like what the fuck are you shitting me right now and of course Cullen Berger with the response he just says smart <laughs> of course Berg smart ass Berg we're gonna get back to Berg here in a little bit <laughs> but Terrell Owens goes into more detail they tried to bait me for $1,500 to release my likeness they can't get me for 15k when they generate bi billions EA Madden NFL don't play me yeah, uh, it's absolutely insane. Ryan responds, he says they make $1,500 off of one Madden Ultimate Team player in a full year. Uh, yeah, that's kind of disgusting. They won't give you a deal. That, yeah, that's exactly the point. That, when he says one Madden NFL Ultimate Team player, what he's saying is like a user, like one of us that actually plays the game. A lot of us will spend $1,500 in a year. Just one of us. Think about that. So that that's freaking disgusting, man. Like that's absolutely ridiculous. Continuing on. Hey, the consumers know I didn't say it. You try to clown me when I did nothing. Never have I disrespected EA Madden NFL, but it's cool. So yeah, he's uh, you know that was in response to someone saying I, I thought EA had a mature Twitter team. Yeah, I mean you you can't really deny that. That's kind of crazy. So it's kind of funny too because somebody made a reference, of course, when they when they made that tweet about the fact that uh, you know that TO might drop the copy of Madden that they sent to him. He says. This person says, yeah, he would probably drop it considering wide receivers drop wide open drags in your trash game. 
oh snap like absolutely true absolutely true and and guys if you don't know exactly what the situation is with that make sure you go back and check out the mutt men podcast that we did uh i did that with uh texas boy and with gut fox Go back and check that one out because Gut Fox goes into a little bit of detail about exactly why that's happening. Uh, It has something to do with like the frame rate in the game that they only actually created Madden. I think he said at like 24 or 25 frames per second. So a lot of times the drops are happening because the game is supposed to be in 30 frames per second at least. And for some reason, like, it's creating a glitch in the game and players are dropping passes because of it. I'm not really sure on the technical details of it, but anyway, kind of funny that T.O. went at their necks like that. Uh, He says, sounds like you open up a can of worms. Sounds like I would be dropping like everyone else on the game. Damn. Like, kind of true, to be honest. Sickening, but true. Now he says, uh, not for $1,500, they won't get me. The players make the game, they make billions, billions, just like college athletes make millions, or colleges make uh, millions off of athletes. Absolutely true. Again, college football makes an insane amount, I think actually over a billion dollars, um, if you really look at like the profits for all the schools combined, I mean, it's billions for sure, like without question, it's billions. So yeah, I mean, they should definitely, and we're not going to get into the debate about paying college football players, but I'll just say real quickly, I I definitely think it's BS that they don't let college players get endorsement deals. So uh, continuing on here, we'll say, again, this is in response to, this is somebody in response to the copy, uh, we'll send you a copy of Madden. He says, you guys are lucky NFL 2K is not around. I would have dropped EA Madden NFL. And T.O. retweeted that. Damn. Yeah. Kind of true. I mean, they are really lucky that they have that exclusive license because a lot of people preferred 2K to Madden. So continuing on, T.O. says, that's why they want my likeness to bring some excitement to the game, but I'm worth a lot more than, he doesn't say a lot, I'm worth more than 1,500. I never have to be in it again. Yeah, so he's basically saying he's not going to be in Madden again unless they offer him substantially more money. And it's hard to blame him, man. Like, you take a look at what EA spends money on, the Game Changer program, um, even the competitive series, things like that. I mean, doing all this ridiculous shit that they do, sending guys out to do to play the game early and stuff like that. All those things cost more money than what it would cost, to get, like, the, than what they were offering to Yo. Think about it. Like, if, for example, EA was like, hey, Clickwood, and this is just hypothetical because they're not going to do it because I savage them way too often, but if they said, hey, Clickwood, would you like to come down and play an early copy of Madden 18? I would say, maybe, if I have, if I have nothing else going on, <laughs> but, okay, think about this. They would have to play, pay for my flight to Orlando there and back. Orlando flights from Minneapolis are at least a few hundred dollars. Let's say, let's say three to four hundred dollars, okay? So, just Let's just throw out a round number and say $400, okay? It might be a little bit less than that, whatever. Point being, round $400. They're also going to have to pay for my hotel, which probably $100 a night. If I'm there for two to three nights, that's getting up there six, dollars $700. Then they also paid for people's food when they're down there. That's, you know, let's say just even it out another $100 just to be round on it. So we're talking seven, dollars $800 there. Then I've heard that they actually go out and they actually pick people up in limousines from the airport and things like that. We're talking like, uh, we're probably talking close to $800 to $1,000 to send one person down to play the game early. And we know that they send a lot of different game changers and competitive players and things like that. Anytime that they do these live tournaments, they're doing that for all those players, of course. And what do those guys gain? give them back? Like, almost nothing, if you really, really think about it. No offense to anybody, I'm just saying, like, Terrell Owens is worth a lot more than a game changer. Let's just put it that way, okay? So... It's absolutely insane to me that they are only offering him $1,500 for a year of his likeness being in the game. Like, actually, I don't even know if it's for a year. It might only be, it might be for a couple years. Who knows? I, when I, what I've heard is that when they sign a player, they sign him for multiple years. So, to me, that would make, that would make me assume that it's going to be probably a $1,500 deal, deal for multiple years. I could be wrong on that. And again, this is just T.O.'s numbers. We don't know for sure that these are factual or anything like that, but I don't see why he would lie about it. And the other thing to keep in mind is that I don't think EA is going to really be able to respond to this because for multiple different reasons. But um, let's see here. They tried to be funny, thinking a lot of people would jump on that weak-ass tweet. Yeah, a lot of people did jump on that weak-ass tweet, and pretty much everybody agrees with T.O. I haven't really seen hardly anybody saying that Madden was in the right for making that tweet, or especially for offering him $1,500. Like, that's absolutely insane. All right, let's see here. I didn't even ask for it, but they can still send it, and I'll, quote-unquote, drop it right in the trash since they throw shade. Snap. 
damn, damn T.O., like, that's pretty savage, but pretty much true as well. I'm glad they picked me to throw shade since I've never said anything negative about EA Madden NFL. I want to know who the CEO is. Somebody's going to get bitched at. Whoever made that tweet is definitely going to hear about it. Like, I don't think there's any question about that. They'll be trying to do some damage control tomorrow, or maybe they won't. I'm not surprised by too much tomorrow. Yeah, or too much anymore. Yeah. It's, it's hard for them, I think, at this point to do any damage control. If I'm EA, I'm probably not making any more reference to this at all. I don't see why they would. It's not going to do any damage control. Like, they can, they're not going to show an example of a contract where they pay someone more. They're not going to do that. So what is the best case scenario that they say, no, we offered you more than that, T.O.? Like, what are they, like, there's nothing that they can really say in response that's a good response. So, yeah, I, I kind of think we're not going to hear anything more from, from uh, Madden about this. But, yeah. And then the last thing. This is a really good point. Hey, Terrell Owens, I know some coin sponsors that pay that would pay you more than EA. Just be sure to use code BERG at checkout to save 10%. Yeah, pretty hilarious. Like I said, we'll hit, we'll, we'll talk about BERG again. This is coming from Wiza. Pretty funny. True as well. Uh, there are coin sponsors that will pay multiple, multiple times more than $1,500 per month to YouTubers for doing uh, advertising on their channels. So... If you've got a big channel or something like that, I mean, those people can get paid a lot of money. So anyway, guys, I mean, it's absolutely crazy to me that they would make a tweet like this. Like, I, I, I don't understand. And if you really think about it, like, T.O., I mean, if they put him into a Madden game, think about how much money he would generate for EA. I mean, we already talked about this. If they drop him for one minute with those $100 Madden Ultimate Team, um, like the Ultimate Team bundles or Ultimate ultimate Packs or whatever the hell they're called, Ultimate Legend Packs, if they do that, if they do that one time, I mean, think about how many times that they would you would have to buy a pack, uh, a bundle for it to, to make up for it. There are probably people out there, individuals, that are on multiple accounts that would make up for TO's entire contract in one weekend. And again, with the entire community, you go on Twitter, take a look at how many people buy a bundle each and every weekend. It's ridiculous. We're talking thousands and thousands and thousands of bundles getting purchased every single weekend. And we're talking $1,500 for one of the best players of all time. Think about how much they're offering T.O. And then think about that, again, he's one of the best wide receivers in the history of the league. Think about how much they must be paying some of these other poor bastards. Christian Okoye, Joe Horn when he was in the game. I mean, like, it's absolutely ridiculous to think about it, you know? I mean, it's possible that maybe they offer everybody the same amount. I doubt it, but it's possible. And if they're only offering T.O. 1500 and if they offer people less than that, that is just absolutely despicable, man. It's absolutely disgusting from EA. These guys are so freaking money hungry and just despicable that I have no words. So I want to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this whole thing. Do you think T.O. is kind of in the wrong for exposing how much he offered them? And obviously, let me know if you think I'm wrong. Is EA in the right for only paying these guys this much amount of money? Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.